Not 80, actually, it was 84 in the year that I was there. But Josh Glenn wrestled. This was one of the moves that he got himself third in the country with. And then the following year, I, I left, and he basically pinned his way through the season uh, with this exact move. I think he had over 20 pins, something crazy like that. But, you know, he was a guy that came in and worked a couple things. And I guess he was good on top, naturally, and then developed some even more offense. And I mean, this gets real dangerous if you're, uh, if you're comfortable with it. Where's my partner? Um, just to find two, one thing, and then I want to go to a near side. There's a thousand ways to do a move. You gotta find what works for you. There's no wrong, I'm gonna tell you this, there's no wrong way to win a wrestling match at the end of the day. Um, as long as you're working hard and doing nothing illegal. There's no wrong way to win. So everybody's techniques can be a little different, whether you're underhooks, two on ones, whatever it is you're trying to score with, we're all gonna hit it in a different way. All right, body types, just, at the end of the day, if you have confidence in something, nine times out of 10, it's gonna work. If you believe, if we're wrestling each other, you believe that this move is going to work, a lot of times mind over matter is going to happen. you got to have the technique behind it, but I'm telling you right now, that's why these top, top guys, that's some of the difference is belief. All right. Going back to this real quick, I want to fine tune a couple things. Going up high, all right, and coach asked you on the elbow, there's no wrong way. If I go on the elbow, that's fine too, whatever you like better. I just like, I've got longer arms, so it tightens this up, and what I do with my elbow helps a lot by keeping this elbow out, all right? If I'm just here, no, it won't work, all right? There's no wrong way of where to grab, go to where you're going, all right? Fine tune, go ahead, step this out real quick. All right, here, from here, I'm holding this ankle. I'm basically pretending like I'm falling over, all right? That's what I'm trying to do. And then I'll, when I run this over and I get my lock, Jump inside. He grabs uh, another guy asked too. He grabs my leg. Go ahead. All I'm gonna do is sprawl. I'm just gonna sprawl that out. Probably he'll fall at this position, and then I'm gonna jam him with my knee and take him over instead of jumping inside. All right. So again, don't worry what this guy's doing to you. You worry about what you're doing to this guy. Let's let's get that mindset. I'm in control of this position. I'm on top. I'm dominating the position. He can give me a couple things, but I'm gonna wrestle through it. All right, step that up here. Okay, I get this lock, I jump sides, right here. Knee block, all right, knee block, and pull this up to me, here. And then all I'm gonna do now is take my knee to seal him, right here, keeping this tight. I'm pulling my chest into him too. He can tell you, I'm putting a lot of pressure on his knee actually, by what I'm doing. I'm pulling it to me, I'm pulling that up, and I'm dropping my chest on him so I stay tight to him. It's not loose. I'm not sitting here where you can fish out, all right? I'm keeping pressure all the way through this. Some tricky little things going on here, all right? Let me ask you this. How many guys actually have a journal? How many guys have a journal? One, two. All right, how many guys want to stay tight in this room? One, two. Look at the numbers. They kind of go hand in hand. The guys that have a journal and the guys that are winning state titles. I'm not saying they're all doing that, all right? I know this. Right now, college level. Got okay, guys in our team that were in the national finals, guys that won NCAAs, guys that are on the world team now. There's a journal. I can go in and I can actually read what they're putting down. And I can go back to three months ago from their training to their technique to their nutrition to their weight management to their mindset, maybe during the season or practice. All the stuff's written out. All right? So, I strongly encourage you to start with some kind of journal, diary, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, your phones, you know, the Fortnite games you guys play, you can play on your phones. Take five minutes away from Fortnite and let's write down some thoughts, right? Like after every session, you guys had some of the best clinicians in the world come through here, right? Go try and push dresser, they were in here, I don't know if there are other people that come through. If you guys didn't take notes on what those guys taught you, then I think we made a mistake there. So we can correct that, all right? After this session, you can write my notes down. I hope you win. All right? All right, but let's fine tune this a little bit and we'll, we'll get back into some other things. Right? One, two.